Did you know that you can add a password to a Google form in order to require a responder to answer that correctly before moving on? Um, I'm going to quickly show you. I've created a short form. I just called it password please. I asked for first and last name and then I asked a question about the hour. Um, and then it comes to, I have the third question I have is password. And I have it as a short answer. And what you're going to need to do is find over here the three little dots and open up data validation. Now, you could make it a number. Most likely, we're going to go ahead and just make it a regular expression. And you want to say that it matches. So you want it exactly. And let's say that I make my password happy. Now, the next thing over here, custom error text, we'll just say try again. You do need to make sure it's required. And then what we did to get to the next part, you'll actually notice there's section one. I tapped on this and I added a section down here. And this is where like the questions will come if it's a test or an assessment or what do we want to happen after they get the password correct. Um, and then you just add in that portion down there. Now, just to make sure, um, you do want this after section one, continue to the next section. And that was already defaulted there, but just to make sure. Now I'm just gonna show you what this does, so I'm gonna preview it. I go ahead and I type in my name. I select fourth hour. And I'm guessing, oh, sad. Well, let's see, maybe I can get it to work. No. Um, now, I typed in the word happy, but notice I can't move on. It is case sensitive, so make sure I have to type in lowercase. Notice the red went away. Now if I tap on that, it allows me to go to the next section and I can continue on with my assessment. A lot of different ways you might be able to use this, but now you can password protect your Google form.